seven drops. Uh, that was seven gambling references. What does NBC say to that? Nothing. I mean, look, I've been doing this for a long time, uh, dropping in these subtle hints. But it's reached the point now where and on ESPN, they're overtly talking about point spreads. On a ton of radio shows, they're, they're talking about point spreads. So when I began to do this, it was like, oh, he's not supposed to do it, but that's great. So it's the, it's the again, it's the rascal in me coming out. You do it subtly. I, at the end of that game, a lot of people who are watching that game, I mean, they have a very vested interest. And especially in that particular game where it depended, you know, where you made your wager, whether it was seven or seven and a half. So some people pushed, others won, others lost. I mean, that was that was, that was was pretty crazy. So I'm normally aware of these things. I mean, I did a game, in, a Monday night game in San Francisco years ago. 49ers are leading 41 to nothing. And, I mean, how many people are still watching? And I said, well, I said, you know, if you think this game is over, it's not quite over. Because the over <laughs> that night was, was 42. And they you know, they love that. And I've, I've sort of become – and somebody sent me like a uh, like 10,000 Twitter things that are out there about, you know, me talking about these things. The only time I was ever asked to uh, – by the network to avoid – really any mention of the point spread was in the uh, San Diego, San Francisco Super Bowl in Miami after the 94 season. And that was a spread that was almost 19 points, which was the largest spread in the history of the Super Bowl. You know, the league, you know, was not embarrassed by it, but you know, they, they didn't want that really out there. And I was asked by my boss, hey, you know, can, can you avoid saying anything about it? I said, fine. But now the score is 49 to 26. It's a 23 point game. There's one play left in the game. San Diego has the ball at the San Francisco 35 yard line. And Stan Humphreys is the quarterback and goes back to pass and launches one for the end zone. And I just couldn't help myself. I said, Humphreys launches one for the end zone, and all over America, hearts are beating furiously, incomplete. I mean, but you just had to. Sure. Because the year before, NBC had covered the Super Bowl, Dallas and Buffalo, and. At the end of the game, as there's, there's, the clock's winding down and Dallas has won the game, but the question is, they've covered at that point, but Buffalo's trying to score a late touchdown, and they're taking every shot of Dallas exulting, the, cr the crowd, the, the Jerry Jones. I'm going, whoa, whoa, and I'm sitting at home going, are you kidding me? All of, you know, there are, There's a billion dollars at stake here. People must be going crazy because they're covering everything but the game. So that won't happen on Sunday night ever, trust me. Al